Welcome to your Social Bee account. This is your dashboard. It's the place where you are able to see all the profiles you have connected in this workspace, connect new ones, or control which of your profiles you are sharing content to. To switch workspaces, all you have to do is click on the workspace you're currently on and a list of your available workspaces will appear. You'll see all of your profiles here and whether they are currently publishing or not publishing content. If your profile is set to not running, that means no content is going out. You can switch it to running by clicking on it and making sure you either choose this profile to set it to running or set all of your profiles to running. If you want to connect profiles, you can do so from the bottom of the page. With Social B, you can connect profiles from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Google My Business. You can also migrate profiles from your other workspaces. We use a category-based system, which means that you will be able to organize your content into content categories. If this is your first time logging in, please make sure to go through the onboarding wizard first to get familiar with our features. There, you will also have the opportunity to generate preset categories for your account. You will notice there are two types of categories in Social B, Evergreen and Share One. Use Evergreen categories for content that's not time sensitive and you want to share multiple times, like when you're promoting your products or services. On the other hand, use Share Once categories when you need to post something that's time sensitive. For example, you don't want to share a news article three months after it happened. You can also create your own categories as you see fit. To do so, click on the Create Category button at the top right corner of your page. Add your category name. If you'd like, you can also add a description. And you can choose whether it's an evergreen category or a share once. Once you're ready with your settings, click create to create your category. Control which categories are publishing content and which ones are paused by toggling each category separately. Editing your category will allow you to change the color of your category so that it suits more your liking. And you can also use advanced settings to either add a short link or UTM parameters. You can also use the bulk editor tool to edit multiple posts at the same time. To do so, just select the post that you want to edit and then take the action that you need. Think of your categories like cues for your different types of content. You can schedule them and the posts that are queued inside will get published in a top to bottom order. And if a category is evergreen, once we get to the bottom of the queue, we jump back up to the top again. Whenever you want to add posts, you can do so from our advanced post editor, which allows you to customize your post completely. Click on the Add Post button at the top of your screen and the post editor will open up. You will then be able to create your post. First, select the profiles you want to share your post on. Then, choose a category to include it into. Now you can add your text and a link that will generate a link preview or add a media file that will catch the eye of your audience. Each social platform has its own requirements. That is why you can customize your post for each profile so that you're able to share a shorter post for Twitter, a longer one for Facebook, a more professional tone for LinkedIn, or be able to replace your link with an image and add hashtags for Instagram. You will be able to see a preview on the right side of your screen at any time so that you have an idea of what your post will look like once published to each platform. Another useful feature here is the ability to add variations to your posts. This will help you keep your evergreen content looking fresh, as each time we need to share a new post, we pick the next variation in line. 
You can add as many variations as you want to make sure that your post gets reshared without feeling repetitive to your audience. You can choose to add your post as approved or not approved if it's still a draft or if it needs to be reviewed by someone else on your team. You also have the ability to choose when you want to publish your post, whether you want to add it to the top of your queue, to the bottom, share it immediately, or publish it at a specific time. Another great feature is the ability to expire your post, either at a specific time and date or after it's been published a number of times. Once you're happy with your post, click the Add Post button to include it in your selected category. You can see a list of posts you have in each category by going to the Category page from your Content menu and clicking on View Posts on the category of your choice. You can also work on importing content through different means like RSS feeds, Q, Zapier, our browser extension or bulk importer tools. For instance, RSS feeds will automatically import new posts from the blogs you set up so that they're ready to get shared on your profile. To add an RSS feed, simply click Add RSS on the top right corner of your screen, select the profiles you want to add the feed to, select the category you want to include it into, paste the feed of the blog you want to add content from, append text if needed, Select everything you need and click Create. For more advanced importing options, you can use our Zapier integration. Or, if you want full control over what you import, use our CSV importer. Add your captions and links to a CSV file and then you will be able to import it directly into the category of your choice. This feature is extremely useful when you want to create multiple posts at the same time. A few other tools worth mentioning here are the hashtag collections, where you can save your hashtags to keep them handy, or the content approval tool where you or your team members can filter through unapproved content to get them ready to get published. Once you've set up your content, it's time to schedule it. In your posting menu, you'll find a schedule overview, which gives you a complete view of what categories are scheduled for all of your profiles. You can generate a preset schedule based on best practices for each platform, either from your onboarding wizard or from the bottom of your schedule. If you don't want to do that, you can start from scratch with your own posting time. To do so, click on the Add New Posting Time button or click anywhere on an empty slot. You'll be able to select the category you want to schedule, for which profiles, at what time and on what day. You can also edit or delete existing posting times by clicking on them. If you want to go more in-depth with your scheduling, use the individual schedule setup, which also offers stats on your content mix. As soon as it's all set, you'll be able to see your posts populate the View Your Next Post tab to get a clear picture of what will post when. You'll be able to see detailed posts in the list view or schedule times in your calendar view. If you don't have content in some of your categories or your category is paused, you'll see it here so that you know that posting time will be skipped for the time being. Next, use the Analytics menu to see how your profiles and posts are performing and improve wherever needed. You can see information on how your profile is performing in your Analytics dashboard. Depending on the information available for each profile, you'll be able to check how your profile evolves. For instance, the evolution of your page likes on Facebook, your activity status, and your top performing posts for the selected time frame. If you want to see stats for all of your posts that were published through Social Bee, head over to the Post History tab, where you'll see any information available based on each platform. 
keep in mind that we're not able to provide analytics for Instagram, Pinterest, or Google My Business at this time. Last but not least, use the audience tools to find relevant people that you can then interact with directly on Twitter. Look for people based on specific keywords in their bio with user search, in their tweets with keyword search, or look through your competition's followers with the competitor audience tool. Type in your search term, whether a keyword or your competitor's Twitter handle, and you'll get back a list of profiles that fit your search. You can also track who follows or unfollows you on Twitter using the friends, fans, and non-followers section. And that's not all social we has to offer. If you need help with various marketing activities like social media posting, content writing, growing your audience, running ads and more, we're here to give you a helping hand through our different concierge services. Think of these services as extras from a menu which are performed by real humans. Choose one or multiple services and let our dedicated bees, as we call our colleagues who manage these services, help you save time and get better results when it comes to your digital marketing. And if you have questions, hit the help menu for more insights, schedule a success call or email us at hello at socialbee.io.